Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Back in the building, man, for another episode of BBW, man. Everybody loves beards, bourbon, whiskey, dog. Got my man's angry principal off camera. What's up? Got my man Bo holding it down. I see. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. It's the red zone, in case you didn't know. All right, so last uh, last week, we had some rum, and mm -hmm. this week, uh, got the same shirt on, but never mind that. So we moving back to, <laughs> we moving back to the bourbon now. <laughs> We did okay. We did two shows in one day, okay? <laughs> about, like, to be like, about to be like four. Like, so y'all get it. Come on. Dramatically, we're going to be a little bit more uh, inebriated. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Start to go find me for my wardrobe. <laughs> right. Thank you. There you go, dog. Mm -hmm. Come up off that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so this week. Ross, I know you're watching this. Come on. Come up off that Come shit. Come up off that. This week, dog, we going to Fort Mose, dog. This is a black-owned bourbon whiskey, dog, that we just got some uh, some information about. Uh, Angry Principal, <laughs> I'm going to lean on you for this information. <laughs> hey, weren't these dudes at the uh, Taste of Black Spirits? Yes, they okay. were. Yeah, so right. shout out to I, I, the Taste of Black Spirits. All right, I knew I recognized them. So sure. in 1726, we had 38 African-American-born slaves who escaped from the Carolinas, and they headed south. They wound up in St. Augustine, fighting with the Spanish against their masters, and then in 1738, that's where you got the Fort Mose, 1738, this was the uh, first, the governor would declare that Fort Mose, the first free black town in the United States. There you go. That's how you got your, your name, Fort Mose. For sure. It's an 84 proof whiskey, uh, bourbon whiskey, and it's black owned, so we're going to... Definitely going to give it a shot. Now, yeah. I've, I've actually had some, uh, and I, I think it was open already, so this would be a little bit different. Because all the time, the bottles kind of taste a little different once it's been opened. So this is going to be the first time opening this. And then we're going to have Angry Principal for the pop. We're going to see how it sounds. And the cocaine nails. <laughs> 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 you stupid. The cocaine right. nails. For the pop. It ain't yeah. had nothing on that rum. Yeah, it's a weird. And that rum was crazy, <laughs> though. That was, weird. That was that, a cork cork. Okay. Yeah, that was a real cork. This, yeah, is, sure. this is synthetic. <laughs> yeah, synthetic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Plastic as they get. That's probably why. Now I did see that. <laughs> yeah, it was a big porter. That one was like glue, glue, glue. That's what it's not loud. I mean, shows we do. Oh, I'm showing up thinking that shit. I mean, shows. Damn. Porter acting like it was Gatorade. That one was a glue, 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 glue. Damn. I did. I overdid it. Uh, I did. I overdid it. I, I can tell now. But uh, yeah. So. What I did notice is it is a uh, it is a corn mash though, so I think it's gonna be a little different than some of the wheat mashes that I like. Hopefully, I, I smell some sweetness to it though. Good, I don't smell anything. I'm say I don't want really to get much of anything. Yeah, it's probably because the smoke in there. <laughs> no, seriously though, because when the smoke got in me, I, I couldn't smell nothing. So let's see what it is, and I feel like it's a fruit sweetness, not a like a not like a uh, chocolate uh, or a caramel. A lot of caramel. Caramel, yeah. Is it? A lot of caramel. I get okay. Yeah, I'm getting caramel. Let's see. A lot of caramel. But a little, like... A little peppery at the end. Yeah, about say a little char, a little peppery, yeah. Peppery at the end. But I I might be crazy for this, dog, but I feel like I taste some apples in there, bro. It's some kind of fruit. It's some kind of fruit. It's some kind of some fruit. fruit. I feel like it's an apple. Yeah, apples, pear, mm -hmm. something like that, yeah. That's not bad. I mean, for an 84 proof... Hmm. It'd be great for mixing. You well, could actually sip this. You could actually sip this just by itself. Oh, off a couple of cubes of ice or something. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not great. <laughs> like I don't know how to say this. You remember the retail? It's a one? mid. It's a mid. How much it cost? Uh, this was forty nine. Forty nine. Yeah. So for the, so for, for the fifty ball, for, for the fifty ball, I'm not sure. Ooh. And I don't want to base it. I don't want to base it on price. But for the fifty ball though, I'm not. I'm you know not what? Sure. I would buy this shit. Like, I would probably buy. 
I'd buy a couple bottles. I'd buy one to drink. I wouldn't drink it by itself. I would mix it with something, mix most with likely, something. right? Okay. But then I'll have another one just like, basically like it's a conversation piece, man. Like, damn, Definitely, take that's what I was going to say. Because like, the story is, is dope, right? The story you know is what dope. I mean? Like, and I want to support them in sharing that. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, for sure. So like, but as far as the bourbon goes, yeah, like you said, what did the kids say? Mid? It's a mid. mid. It's mid. Yeah. It's kind of mid. It's yeah, kind of mid. Yeah. My blackness would make me buy it. For sure. I, I, I'm, I'm going to have it on the... Yeah. I introduce it to somebody who's trying to switch from cognac or rum to bourbon. Mm-hmm. I can, you can start somebody off with this. Especially mm-hmm. from rum. Yeah. You Especially can start somebody rum. off with this because yeah. it's still got that sweetness yeah. in it, that caramel yeah. sweetness yeah. in it. Mm-hmm. So that would... It's, it's, actually, it's not bad. Mm-mm. It's not mine. It's not bad at all. It's not my no, lane, it's not bad at all. but it's not yeah. bad at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It kind of tastes like... Um, I, I taste the fruit in it, though. Like I said, it's either apple or pears. Mm-hmm. Something I'm trying to see what it is that would make it that would make it better for me though. That's what I'm trying to see because like for me, I do like the sweetness. I do like the the caramel or a cocoa sweetness more. So maybe if it had a little more caramel in it, it would it would set it off for me. But the I don't know. This it's giving me it's giving me kind of like some some apple uh, some apple flavor whiskey vibe sort of. And I don't really. I don't I really say, like that. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a flavor yeah. but I can I can smell the apple. Yeah, I taste it. Going in for shit. A, a second smell, I can smell the apple. Yeah. Tasting it, not as it's a hint, but it's yeah. not it's yeah. not strong. Yeah. Mostly caramel and a little pepper. That's that's what I'm. And thinking. see, I didn't even I don't taste the caramel. And see, right. I think that's what I taste caramel big time. Yeah. Because I think that's what does it for me mm. is it's, it's like you said it's not it's not really strong, right? Like. I got I, I gotta have a little I gotta have that hug, man. Yeah, you, know? you gotta have I gotta have that <laughs> bite, you know, like yeah. yeah. I mean to have a frill to drink it by itself, you know, drink it neat. Yeah. It's a little peppery on the back end. He's just rubbing his hand up against you. That's about yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a little peppery like up under the tongue yeah, on the back like, end. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, you know, yeah, couldn't you hug your cousin? You know, you want to ask out hug and shit, you know? Yeah. The church hug? Yeah, the church hug. There you go. Yeah. The church hug. Yeah, you my first cousin. That's as long as you ain't from the Hick Tiles. All right, never mind. Yeah, we ain't going to get to that. Yeah, we ain't going to get to that. <laughs> never mind, dog. So, no, but it's, it's, it's good, though. Like like I said, it's not it's not bad. It's just I need I need some more caramel or some more or, or some cocoa. Like, I need that kind of sweetness. So, for me, it's kind of, uh, I ain't going to lie. It, if we looking at last week when we did the rum, and I hate to say it because it's a black old company. I love our black people, but I feel like I would... I would probably choose the rum from last week over this, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would too. I yeah, think. I would too. Actually, the cigar doesn't do anything for it. Yeah, it doesn't take away from it. Doesn't add to it. It's just two separate things. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's not enhancing anything. It's not bringing anything other to the table other than you mixing this with something. I'm right. mixing it. I think it'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you just want that bourbon taste mm-hmm. in whatever drink you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but neat or on the rocks by itself. Uh, I don't know. And this might be a far stretch too, but I feel I almost feel like and this this might really be a stretch, but I almost feel like if they just said it was whiskey and not bourbon, mm-hmm. I probably would have I would have respected it more. Like for a bourbon, I'm yeah. expecting something else, I think. And maybe that's just the expectancy of what they call it. something more complex than what this is. Yeah. yeah. And, and it, it ain't that. Just thing. give it this, this whiskey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like this whiskey. Yeah. You. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's whiskey. You know, I, I guess, like again, my thing is like the versatility of it, right? Mm-hmm. So what would I use it for? Mm-hmm. Mixed drinks, maybe. Mm-hmm. Right? But because either that or I would have to drink it neat, you know? And it's not strong, of, not strong enough for me to drink it neat. Yeah. So, you know, if I put ice in it, that's going to make it too weak, right? It's going to be too weak. watered down, yeah. man. And, you yeah. know, I won't be able to really taste it. So, right. for me, it's, it's versatility as well, right? I yeah. don't have a lot of uses for it. You yeah, know? for sure. Other than, like, you for said, the way I like my bourbon, right? Yeah, that might be sure. to- totally different for y'all or, no doubt. or, or, or Q or Angry Principal. You know yeah. what I mean? So. Now, now, for sure, it's, this ain't, uh, what's that What's that one joint that was completely trash, though, that we that we had out of the, the Moonshiners joint, the Tim. Oh, oh yeah, it tastes like our pit. That's what my dog, man trash. Yeah, that uh, Tim from the uh, Moonshiners, dog, the show that's on. Oh yeah, that was horrible. Dog, that was trash. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. I'm and I, ain't, I'm gonna say this to say that I'm pretty sure that he made better moonshine than he made fucking whiskey. Yeah, that shit was terrible. To. Yeah, I think they I they must have regulated too much. That shit you was get trash. a whole show, you better make some good moonshine. <laughs> right. man, that <laughs> bourbon was horrible. Horrible dog. I think I described it as he. You could tell he lifted his armpit and his hair <laughs> That's fell what he in said. That That's what he said. No, really, for sure. Really bad. But this, like but I this said, is. if you are a cognac drinker, 
and you're trying to get that bourbon this, whiskey yeah. flavor mm-hmm. taste in your mouth instead of the cognac, this might be the way to go. It's a good transition. It's yeah, a good be transition. A great yeah. transition. I, I agree with you on that though. So yeah, that is a good transition piece. And of course, like you mentioned, just the the storyline of it, like yeah. it's a good conversation piece. Mm-hmm. I wonder why they proofed it down to eighty four. Because I'm sure they didn't have to. <clears throat> they didn't, they yeah, didn't, I'm sure they didn't, didn't have, have to. to. I, I wonder why they, if they was like at 90, 92, mm-hmm. might have a little yeah, like, let me different. Add, let me ask y'all this. This is kind of that Woodford and uh, yeah. all those in that, that mm-hmm. range. That so let me, let me ask y'all this, though. Do y'all think that, <laughs> I don't want to make it a race thing, you see, right? <laughs> but since it's a black-owned company, do you think that they were catering to people leaving Cognac to come into... I would hope they are. You know what I'm saying? So like that marketing could have been like, let's let's bring it down so right, Cognac but, drinkers can drink this. I guess so. Yeah. But at the same time. Why? Why do yeah, it? Why, why do, do it? it? Yeah. And same thing with uh, Bo Brothers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So right. why are those companies going down instead yeah. of staying at that mm-hmm. 90 and up? Yeah. Right. Now, unless Where people actually want to be. And I didn't see. I think this is the only one they have. I don't know if they got like a, a single barrel or like a, a oh, cash proof or something yeah. like so if you got that, then this would be cool because, yeah. like, all right, if you want the strongest stuff, you got the cash. Right, yeah. for, you know, you got that. Yeah, it, it, like like Angry Prince was saying, this is like ninety two. You know, even yeah. even ninety. Yeah, even like, 90. yeah, okay, yeah, even ninety. Yeah. They got a rum and they have a bourbon. That's, That's it. it. Okay. So what I'm what what I'm hoping for then, like, and, and I'm definitely, <coughs> and I'm saying this off real, I'm definitely like I'm purchasing purchasing this for the bar. Uh, not just because like the conversation piece, but like I I can mix this with something. Mm-hmm. Like I can make an old fashioned or something like that. But definitely, if you come up with uh, like a cast strength or like a, I don't know, bottle and bond or whatever, just, yeah. just, get it to 90, just to bump it a little just bit. Just get it to 90, 92. Yeah. I think the flavors on this could actually compete be, with some of the big ones. Exactly. I, I agree. Because yeah, the, the flavor is actually yeah. pretty good. The flavor's yeah. on point. So if it had a little bit more proof to it. Now, okay. if you're trying to introduce, like, I, I cut my teeth on Woodford. Yeah. I can cut my teeth on this. I can yeah. give this to somebody. That's trying to make the transition into bourbon and feel comfortable yeah. with them enjoying this. Fact. Because I, I, it's got yeah. the sweetness on it and it's got just a little bit of pepper on it. And yeah. it's got, it's got, it has a few more flavors than normally you yeah. would deal with. Yeah. I could actually put that up, up against some of the big boys. For sure. Just so I think, I think that's where it's at. Just a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit. Mm-hmm. So you get up to about 90, we'd be all right. 90, yeah. 92. <laughs> yeah, 90, see, 92. This, see, this is your fault, though. See, because like when I first came into the game... I was drinking cognac, so 80 was fine with me, though. You know what I'm saying? But now, drinking with y'all, everything got to be 100 hey, plus. Had to expand your horizons. That's man. All and that was, now, and we had this conversation from the first season. I remember y'all was saying, the more you drink, you go you go notice. Like, your mm-hmm. palate go change. And it did. It did. Yeah. Like, some of the stuff that I thought was showing enough rough was like 83%. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or 83, 83 proof, proof or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's like, now, if it ain't, I'm looking at 90 and above for sure. Hundred and above, like when I, you know, when I'm feeling myself, you feel mm-hmm. me. But we go get into one next week that's gonna be like crazy. It's gonna be like a hundred and fifteen or something. We gonna talk about that next time though. But uh, we gonna go around one last time and uh, see what see what the homies go rate it. I'm curious to see what they go rate it. I think that I don't know about mine. I'm still iffy, so I'm gonna hear theirs first and then I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go after that. So, <laughs> angry principal man, what you say, dog? On the black power fist scale of one to five, Fort Mose. All right, because they, they black power fist and it's a black old company. So it's pressure. Before you give yours, let me ask. You. Can, okay. can, can, I, can I break mine down? You know what I mean. So like, one for I'm, the yeah, flavor, yeah, one for I'm the a, story, yeah, the story, the taste. <laughs> the you know what I mean? Because all right, we can do it. We can it's do got it. some potential. You know, like it, said, it does definitely have potential. My blackness will make me buy a bottle. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah. just it's just. But the tastes are there. The flavors are there. I need more proof. Please just turn it up yeah, a little bit. I just need more proof. Yep. So I'm at two, two and a half. Yeah. I'm somewhere in there. Okay. Only because it's a proof thing. It's not the proof a flavor thing. thing. Mm-hmm. Right, gotcha. Flavor is up there at the three. Yeah. But flavor's good. The proofing, the fact that I gotta drink a lot of this for it to make me feel anything. Yeah. I gotta pull that down a little bit. Yeah. So I'm I'm right at the Two, two and a half, two, two and somewhere half. in there. Okay. And I can't even, I'm not even sure. And like I said, it's a proof thing. That's mm-hmm. all it is for mm-hmm. me. For sure. Because it ain't, it ain't trash. Like, I, no, I'm tell you, no, no, When I tell you that, that uh, what's, what's E-40 joint? Uh, let's not Kike, go there. Kike, Kike, <laughs> that's trash. Let's, let's not go there. And we let's said it was trash, but E-40. But like I said, if you want to transition, you want to transition from Kanye, this would be a good way to start. It is. Definitely if you want the bourbon flavors, this is a good way to start. I agree. I agree. Man, so, so for me. But what you say? We got to break it down? I mean, for the, yeah, for the story, you know, it get five plus. You yeah, know, that, that's for that's, sure. The story is yeah. amazing. Um, the 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 flavor, I, 
I think the flavor of the bourbon is a solid three, right? Mm-hmm. You know, maybe three and a half, but definitely solid three. Yeah. Now, again, for me, it's the proof. You know, I would say it too in that regards, right? Yeah. So, like, all together, you know, I would give it probably two and a half. Yeah. You know? All right, so we back at the two and a half. Yeah. I uh I want to say basically I'm a, I'm gonna agree with that again on the story end. This is right up there with Uncle Nears, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As far as stories go, and I think that um, that history is important. I think this history is important because there's so many Black Spears owners out there who don't get to get this story out, and a lot of people who just don't even know the story mm-hmm. of Black history when it comes to you know alcohol or spirits. So I think yeah, the story is 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 off the chain definitely i think we got something to build on i'm buying this for the bar again oh, for the so. story and oh, plus because yeah. like it's decent like so if i'm coming home after a long day at work or something i can throw this on some ice i'm good with that it's gonna taste a little watered down because it's a lower proof but i agree if we can get it up to like maybe 90 or like 92 like what elijah craig or something like that um i can work with it and i think that does come with a an experienced palate so if you are if you was just drinking like uh, the other 1738 last week or <laughs> drinking Hennessy. And I'll say privilege because I'm still not drinking a regular Hennessy. But if you're drinking privilege, this is a nice little, you know, switch over. And at $49.99, it's cheaper than privilege. So, <laughs> just saying. so $49.99, I, I will say this too, though. The price point kind of is a thing. I think for this, yeah. for this, quite honestly, I'm looking at $29.35. You know, somewhere in there. Right, That's what I'm thinking, yeah. somewhere in there. Um, but... Don't let the price point discourage you, though, because it's still a, it's still a good drink. It's going to take a whole lot to get you to where you're trying to go. So for Fort Mose, if you're checking out this, uh, if you're checking out this joint, uh, we definitely love the product. We would be super excited to see a higher proof. So even if you keep this one on the shelf and just come with a, a higher proof version, mm-hmm. like a roll with that, proof single barrel, like that. barrel proof or something like that. But this will easily turn a, a Hennessy drinker. Oh, for sure. To bourbon. Quickly. For sure. For sure. Easily do it. Yeah. I just, it's just the proof. I it's smell it's Hennessy just nowadays. <laughs> right. I can't even smell it. Right. I don't want nothing to do with Hennessy. No, <laughs> Not at all. another one with Jay-Z with Duce? Duce. Duce. Yeah. That would blow Duce out the water. Yeah, it for sure. It would blow it out the water. So, yeah, if you're a cognac drinker and you're interested in switching over to a bourbon or a whiskey, I think this is definitely one yeah, of those. that's a good yeah, way to sure. go. All right. So, I think with that, I think we kind of across the board with the 2.5 on that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, shout out to Fort Mose. Uh, and, of course, uh, the uh, Taste of Black Spirits event, which Fort Mose is a part of, and it will actually be in Brooklyn this year, mm. uh, actually in June, so next month. So check y'all guys out in uh, Brooklyn in June, and shit, that's it. Let's uh, right. get back to this drink, get back to this cigar. Uh, to the next time, man, of course, we got Angry Principal off camera. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man Bo in the building. I'll show you. And, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Everybody loves BBW, dog. Beers, bourbon, whiskey. We out. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, boss. <laughs> <laughs>